Hey, welcome back to Kids Fun Science. Um, as a concerned parent, I know out there it's very dangerous being on social media, online, um, and you're always worried what your kids' activities are. Um, as a parent, you can't be everywhere all the time to be able to monitor uh, those activities. So I'm gonna talk about a app today. Uh, it's a parent control app called FamilySafe, and at least this will help you monitor your kids' activities online and alert you when things come up, inappropriate texts, maybe when they're getting bullying, inappropriate pictures. Um, you can monitor their time, uh, track their location, and you can really get a sense um, that they're a lot safer with this app. So uh, something that I wish I had um, when my kids got smartphones in 2007, uh, this would have been a great app. I logged on, I've used it um, to see how it works, and it is incredible. So I'm gonna go over some of the key features to let you know what you get with this app, and I'll have a lot of information in the description below. All right, so FamilySafe is the most reliable parent app out there, right? So it controls screen time, it's got real-time tracking, detects inappropriate content on the device, and the best part is that it cannot be deleted or changed any of the rules from the kid's device. It only can be changed on the parent device. So now I'm gonna go over some of the features and why you might want to download this app. So there's just three easy steps, register, install, and connect. You either pick a kid device or a, a parent device, and then you set up your settings. And from there, all the alerts and uh, notifications will come back to your, your device. It has multiple different options on how you can buy it, monthly, quarterly, or yearly, which is the best option. But I suggest to try to download it for free and try it for the three-day trial to see what you think. So the activity report is great, right? So that monitors kids' phones so you know their daily activities. You check the apps the kids are using mostly and the ones they've installed or uninstalled. You keep an eye on their daily online life remotely, right? You view the kids' daily phone activities, learn um, which apps they've been used the most, and whether the kids are addicted to some apps or not. So screen time, track the details on the kids' app usage, right? Manage how much time a kid can spend on their devices and set up smart schedules when they can use the apps or not. Like when it's bedtime or when it's study time, they're not allowed to use those apps because you block them. So the YouTube app control is a control and detect, right? So it frees yourself up from the trouble of checking your kid's browser history constantly. You'll then get alerts um, that you're concerned about. So they can categorize potential issues um, on YouTube videos, um, list potential issues found on your kid's watch list. And from there, you can block those videos or the channel um, on your kid's devices. Just check the TikTok history in the app itself. Um, get information on visited channels, on the dates they're doing it, view the information on the video details, and see what your kids have browsed. So you can check how long your kids have spent um, browsing TikTok. So the browser history is really important. Keep kids search safe. You can't do that every minute of the day. To create a safe, age-appropriate online environment for your children by blocking inappropriate sites. They have a thing called Keep Search Safe uh, website filter, right? So it filters inappropriate websites to create on, uh, a safe online environment for your kids. So your filter websites and by category. So they have 10 categories like adult, violence, drugs, and more. And you set those up and then you're able to block or allow certain uh, websites to come up for your kids. So going a little farther, Safe Search also detects suspicious text, right? It mo monitors these social apps, YouTube, and detects any offensive words, right? So you set the offensive words that you want to get alerted on, and then when they're detected on your kid's device, you'll get an alert. So the app blocker um, feature is really cool. So it blocks apps on kids' devices to stop unwanted disruption or limit those obsessive app usage, right? So it lets kids be more focused on learning, exercise, etc. You can keep them away from the age-restricted apps by blocking apps by age 
or a one-step lock all apps uh, that are not suitable for kids. The locking app icon will not appear on the kid's device, which is pretty cool. You can block the entertainment apps during study time or bedtime. So you customize this list of blocked apps on sp a specific schedule, right? So maybe no apps after 9 p.m. So there's a lot of control on how they use their, uh, their apps and which apps they can use. So inappropriate pictures, right? Detect suspicious images like nude selfies or pornographic images on your kids' devices. And then it sends instant alerts, um, helping parents easily block porn on the phone. So monitoring these kids in all directions to see if there's any por pornographic images is very important. You could track these images. You could set detection on uh, the level of pornographic images you want to allow, and you view these picture records, right? And you'll receive alerts uh, when these pictures are detected on your kids' devices. The real-time location feature is really cool. It tracks your kids in real time and reviews their location history. You check their current location of your kids. You don't have to. You can stop calling them, saying, "Hey, where are you?" As you know exactly where they are. You grasp your kids' real-time location anytime. You can check your kids are in school, home, or at a friend's house. You know if your kids are in a strange or unsafe um, you know, place uh, by checking the, the history of, of their location. You also can check the location of their timeline so you get to know your kids' routines. So you set safe geofences, right? Create geofences like school or home around some specific locations. And then you get notified when those kids break those routines. So you set up a scope of kid activities. You set up the geofence and then you set up the time range. And they'll receive an alert if the kid leaves a set place when they're not supposed to. So the driving report is really cool. So it encourages good driving habits. You receive this detailed driving report, history report about your teens every trip. So getting to know the driving details like top speed, average speed, total driving distance, and more. This is gonna help your team form good driving habits by reviewing these re, uh, weekly reports with them. As a parent, you can't be everywhere at the same time, but with the help of Family Safe app, you can at least monitor your kids' activities online and have a sense of what's going on with them. So if you're worried about what your child's doing and what they're performing online, then I would suggest to download the Family Safe app and give it a try. It's going to make your life a lot, whole lot less stressful. Thanks for watching.